Average millionaire is 62 years old. Majority of people don't take their finances seriously until they're 40 years old. 20s and 30s are spent on wasting money and exploring life. You have limited time on this earth. Don't waste it like an average person. The average person sleeps 8 hours a day and works 8 hours a day, and in the United States is expected to live 78 years. So the average person spent 25 years working, 25 years sleeping, and 25 years enjoying life. My goal on this channel is to help you make money while you sleep. Easiest way to do this is through the stock market, real estate, dividend income, or starting your own business. Some of you will say that saving money is better than investing in the stock market, but I can assure you that is a lie. Big bank corporations want you to believe in it, but what the bank pays you in exchange for making a deposit in your saving account is lower than inflation. That means your money is actually worth less in the future than it is now. If you are still subscribing, please do it now. It costs you zero dollars and your money will not lose value if you turn that like button to switch blue. Thank you. As we live in the time of a pandemic, economic recession, travel bans and protests all over the world, maybe it's time to focus on biotech industry. Let's start the story for today. Uh, let's move on to some headlines on the coronavirus front today because we do get developing news on the race to develop that coronavirus vaccine. The UK government announcing today it has secured key deals with Johnson & Johnson and Novavax, while we heard from the European Commission. Shares of Novavax climbed 10% on Friday after the biotechnology company reached a coronavirus vaccine supply deal with the United Kingdom. Novavax will supply the UK with 60 million doses of its COVID-19 vaccine candidate, nvx cov 2373 The biotech is also planning a phase three study to test the effectiveness of the vaccine among participants from the UK. Phase 1 data from Novavax clinical trial was promising. nvx cov 2373 induced a robust antibody response in patients and was generally well tolerated. Novavax expects to begin a Phase 2 study later this month. The Phase 3 clinical trial in the UK will include as many as 9,000 participants aged 18 to 85. It will test the effectiveness of nvx cov 2373 against COVID-19. Covavex has a market cap $8.17 billion. This year, its stock is up 1,768%. Amazing growth potential for the future, as revenue will grow dramatically after they start supplying COVID-19 vaccines to patients. Novavax picture leave it for two seconds here. At $146 per share, this is a good entering point for this stock if you are ready to jump in for long-term investment. When I say long-term, I mean next five years. You'd probably ask why I said next five years. Well, they are expecting 100 million doses by US by late 2020s and 1 billion doses globally beginning in 2021. Novavax has already lined up at least 2.75 billion in manufacturing capacity through partnerships and an acquisition. Despite not having any drugs on the market, the biotech was able to secure the capacity through about $2 billion in funding from the US government. Next stock we will talk about is Vaxart. Vaxart is an American biotechnology company focused on the discovery, development of oral recombinant vaccines administered using temperature-stable tablets that can be stored and shipped without refrigeration. Vaxart expansion story began on January 31st, when it initiated its coronavirus vaccine program, while its stock cost no more than $1.25 per share. One month later, stock had more than doubled in value, but even larger increases were to come. At the beginning of 2020, Vaxart stock was trading at 36 cents. It's now up about 2,490% and costs about $9 per share. When most people think of vaccines, they think of a syringe filled with liquid, which is administered by a healthcare worker into the muscles of veins of the patient. Let's be honest, nobody likes needles. Vaxart's technology platform provides oral tablets containing the equivalent active components. When patients get medication in tablet form, there's no need for the clinic that distributed to purchase additional disposable syringes, sterilizing swabs, bandages, or even gloves. So we talk about a cheaper price for storage of this kind of medication that is making it more affordable for patients. What do you think about this stock? Let me know down below in comments. And for the end, we have Sorrento Therapeutics up 60% in the past week after striking a licensing agreement with Columbia University for its rapid one-step COVID-19 test that samples saliva and can detect the coronavirus in just 30 minutes. It's called COVID Trace and it gives a simple positive or negative color change result. Joining us now in a first on CNBC interview is uh, Henry G, the co-founder and CEO of Sorrento Therapeutics. Uh, very good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. 
Thank you very much for having us on so, the program. So it, it almost sounds too good to be true, a, a simple 30-minute turnaround saliva test. Uh, how confident are you in its accuracy? Actually, the inventor is uh, Dr. Zill uh, Williams from Columbia University Medical Center. He and his group in the lab doing the uh, prenatal testing with the same technology very often to search for genetic uh, uh, the uh, signatures. And the, they apply the same technology to the COVID-19 uh, viral genome and uh, finding the uh, uh, technology works very, very well. When we say very, very well, that means the uh, uh, accuracy is very well. Within the uh, sensitivity side right now is about a 97. That means uh, positive is positive, not false negative. Imagine if we can test people for the price of two coffees in Starbucks and get results in 30 minutes. With COVID-19 cases still going up in numbers, I am bullish on this stock. I see a good product with high demand and affordable price. I believe this stock revenue will skyrocket in the next three to five years. It's definitely a long-term buy for me. What do you think about it? At $12.44, this is a good entering point in SRNE stock. In future, we are looking at testing before going to work, before going to school, before entering the hospitals or supermarkets. Before you want to have to travel with cruise line, you need to test. Before boarding to airplane, you will need to test. Like it or not, this is coming in the near future. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Stay safe out there and see you next week.